one to buy it says piano. In this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to play the piano part that repeats quite a lot through Love Me Again by John Newman. So I'm just going to teach you the main piano riff. It's the same four chords all the way through the song. So let's dive in. So this one's in the key of D minor. So on the screen now are all the notes to the scale of D minor. So these are the notes we are working with. Here is middle C as a reference point. So if you locate that pitch on your keyboard or piano. I'll teach both hands at the same time. So left hand is blue and right hand is orange on the screen there. So the riff goes, if I play it first. hand is going to play first. It's low octaves but obviously work within the range that you have and if you can't play octaves just play singular notes. So we play G's. Then with the right hand we play G minor second inversion so that's D, G and B flat. And we play this right hand chord five times basically. I'll teach a more basic version first. We go left and on the fifth time, the left hand changes from a G to an A. So, A. So it's a passing bass note. And then we have B flat major. In the right hand, we have first inversion of B flat major. So all we're going to do from G minor is change the G to an F. And then we do the same thing again. So left, right, 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 right. And then we change to a C on the fifth one. So, so far we have A, B flat, B flat major, C, and then again this is another passing bass note and that leads us into D minor. So that's D, F, A in the right hand, so left. no passing bass note this time and then it goes down to C and then we play C major root position C E G. The only passing bass notes we have is the A between the G minor and the B flat and then the C between the B flat and the D minor. To get to the D minor to the C we can repeat that D again before we go to the C. So, one, two, three, four, five. So I'll do all that again. So if you wanted to make it a bit more accurate, you're going to repeat the left hand notes in between the chords. So, left, right, left, right, left, right, together, together, left, right, left, right, left, right, together, together, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, together, C. And it's up to you if you want to repeat the left hand with the chord sometimes as well. I'll do it again. You can repeat that C again if you want to before we repeat it to go back into the G minor. So that's basically it, but obviously it's quite quick. So again, played at full speed. Again, it's the same chord progression throughout the song, but it's mostly just about this main riff, which is really distinct in the song and it's pretty fun to play. 
that's the end of this video. If you have a request, please leave them in the comment section of this video. Also remember to like and subscribe. I've left some videos here you might like, so go and check those out. I also have a course. So if you would like to learn how to read music from scratch, go visit bitesdosepianocourse.co.uk. You can enroll and start learning. I'll see you in the next video.